the phone. Mm. You already know what the time is. I handle my biz. It ain't no sleeping on the job. Open up your eyelids. We back working on the craft, doing what we do best. Full court running the press. A couple of vets. By request, it's just two black brothers discussing everything under the sun. Victorious run, rushing for the touchdown. Two point conversion. We not kicking. We philosophizing with pole politicking. The DJ, period, point blank. The choice ain't too difficult, but we do what the mother folks can't. In the paint, we going hard, cause we gotta be. Draft pick, lottery flow, sacred geometry. That's right, the people do so much talking. They close their mouth when they hit grown ups talking. I showed up often doing more of the work. It's four eyes, now who you with? Well, spoiler alert, it's just two black brothers on the microphone. Get live for the interview. It's just two black brothers on the microphone. They might teach you a thing or two. It's just two black brothers on the microphone. Tell them if your baby mom asks. It's just two black brothers on the microphone. What a motherfucking podcast. Yo, welcome back. Welcome back to the Just Two Black Brothers. We got the homie Jay Hood with us. What's good? What's good? Let's get it. Yo, let's get right into it, man. Uh, for, Real quick, man, post that. What happened, man? What, what, I was looking for you in Cali. I said, probably, I said, shit probably got crazy for him down there. Man, there was so much shit going on, man. You know what I mean? Like, so many video shoots and all type of other shit, man. Shit was, you know how black people be in that shit with behind schedule. <laughs> you know yeah, we, know. we know karma. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah karma, we... uh, I used to, like, my. I got some producers I used to manage, and I used to take them to the studio. He lives, like, by me. Yeah, karma from out here. Karma, karma, karma. Good people, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he got his own... I don't know if he told you, but you know he got a label and everything. Yeah, he got, oh. he got a couple. Um, he got a lot artists. of artists he be working with. Yeah, he got like 10, 12 artists he be working with. He got. Oh, can you hear? Can you hear us? Hold on, I think he fixed or something. Oh, he'll be back. It's just too black. Hey, look, somebody said, "Hey, man, I just had an interview with one of the dopest uh with a podcast with one of the dopest intros." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, that nigga. He was um Q and P. He from UK. Oh okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I, felt, I, I, I was like, damn. I kind of felt bad for him because uh, he like he had um he it was two o'clock over there in the morning. Yeah, and I posted did it with him on Monday, but I had messed up and did it the wrong day. Oh okay, okay. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you now. I can't hear y'all for a second. This shit. Oh. Yeah, he got a label and everything, though. He's been out here for a minute doing it. He got a label. Yeah, yeah. They call him good people, man. He was telling me he out there in, uh, in Oceanside. Yeah, yeah, out there. Yeah, he look by me. Yeah, he out here. Okay. What's up, Carmen? So, yeah, we got we got Pesci 3, man, out there hitting the airwaves. Uh, I, w- I was reading some comments, man. I said, man, I'm going I'm to I'm let them hear what, the, what some people thinking. Because I saw, I you, are you the one who put it on that piff? Nah, hell no, man. Yeah, um, hey, hey, it's on that fifth right there. <laughs> yeah, I seen that shit. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Oh yeah, oh so you don't know you don't, you don't know who did that? Nah, I think man, that shit is on all type of shit. That shit is on like uh, that piff mix unit, all type of other shit where mixtapes are are downloaded. You know what I mean? Like, I, I have no clue who put that shit on. Me. Oh okay, okay. I was like, damn, cause I said, I thought I said, damn, I don't think it's a mixtape, but they got it. Nah, on the I record. said that shit, that shit an hour, man. Oh, yeah, you know, trying I, to play. I know what the thing is with these people nowadays. They they <laughs> they confuse. They, they they have like this thing right with calling albums mixtapes. I don't know. Oh. La, so, 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 so yeah, because you had original beats on there, right? Yeah, it's an album. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, original yeah. beats on there. Yeah, yeah. A mixtape hey, you know what? Like the same beat, like we re, redid, like you know. Right, right, yeah. right. But I, I was reading the comments, so I said, man, you know, it's like a mixed bag with you. And that's like the the, the, the perfect segue into this interview, because I was reading the comments. You know, the first comment was like, yo, this shit weak. Then the second comment was like, yo, damn, this shit better than Banks' album. Then, then, then you know, it's just like, I said, man, you know what? I've been hood. We just talk, thinking about this shit like, what, what niggas want from me? You feel me? Right, right. I mean, <laughs> I, came, I came to the acceptance of, you know what I mean, just... To embrace the mindset that you you just can't 
you can't please everybody, man. You know what I mean? Like some people, they gonna like they gonna like what you do, and some people just not gonna like it. You feel what I'm saying? And the people that rock with me, that's what I do it for. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not trying to like create no type of content to try to convert nobody else. You know what I mean? Like either either you rock with what I do and you appreciate. You know what I mean? Like the music that I create, or you don't. You know what I mean? It's it's as simple as that. But I I hear it all, man. I hear yeah. it all and see it all from people. So it's like a lot of shit don't make sense to me. You feel what I'm saying? Like to, to be completely honest with you, because I be hearing people. It's like like you said, it's a it's a bunch of mixed feelings at all times. You feel what I'm saying? Like a lot of mm-hmm. people sometimes they be like, yo. I want the old hood. Let me hear the old hood from back in the day. And then you got other people that be like, oh, shit, this shit sound like the old hood. You sound like back in the days and all that. And then you got other people that be like, man, this shit sound like back in the days, man. Like, you ain't elevate or you ain't grow. Like, no, man, it's like, yo, come on, you can't please me. No, that's a fact. I I was going to ask you, so what was the, uh, like, it was one, two, and three. Was it a difference between each one or it was just continuations of the project? I mean, it was basically, it's an album series, you know what I mean? Like one through three. I think to me, me personally, I, I like three the best. That's my personal favorite. You know what I mean? I think due to the fact that uh, I recorded totally uh, alone with no features. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, you know, part one and part two, I had guest appearances on it. But part three, I decided I wanted to do it all for myself. So, you know. Are you going to do that's more? That's the difference between that and the other two. Yeah. Are you gonna keep doing it, or are you done with three? Or are you gonna keep going? Uh, like- that 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 might be it for the series. If anything, I might do one more, and and that's a might. You feel me? Yeah. I'm gonna move on to the next series and shit. No, mm. so, yeah, no. You, I, I I listen to the joint. So, like I said, I I, I like it because you know it give me like a it almost give me like soul tape vibes. No doubt. Just just because of the the the, the beat selection that you chose for. Them, it give you, it give you that it give you that soul tape vibe. Yeah, man. That's you know I tried to uh I tried to pick that uh that gloomy dark, but at the same time somewhat boom bap type of vibe. You know what I mean? Like as far as the production goes. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's what I try to run with, man. And, um, I work with a, a handful of producers that that basically cater to my sound that I've been working with for a little while now, and I think they bring the best out of me. So I try to uh. I try to work with them as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? My man Max Dollars, my man Gotti Gator, mm-hmm. uh, Whitney, Klepto, you know, people like that, man. Yeah, they be going in for you, though. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, they, they be going in. Uh, oh, I saw mm-hmm. you talk, I saw you uh, with your post, so did you listen to the Lloyd Make album? I'm not even going to lie to you, man. I ain't even get to check it out yet. Oh, no, nah, it, was, it was pretty tough. I listened to both of y'all because I wanted to make sure, but I was looking at it like, I don't know. I just looking at it like you were just kind of marketing it, like shit, I, like both like you how you, how you said both. Like y'all, you said it, it's time, you said y'all both it pops competitive, time, so it's like right, right. Why not talk both of y'all name up because it makes sense. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, the, the, the thing is, man, it's like what, what what I seen when I brought that up because my initial. Uh, purpose for doing that, I kind of like put out a vlog yesterday elaborating on it, you know what I mean, but for the mm-hmm. people that didn't see it, my initial reason for doing that was basically um, you know, I always respected his pen game, I, you know what I mean, I never said, never once said that that man wasn't nice, you know what I mean, I never said that he wasn't elite, I never said his pen wasn't crazy, I never, I never even said I was better than him, you know what I mean, I never right, said right, nothing right. but I think my, my project is better, you feel what I'm saying? Huh. That's all I say, and <laughs> his fans took that and ran with it because they got emotionally attached to shit like fans do regularly. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like, and that enables them from looking at things from a realistic standpoint. You feel what I'm saying? Because okay, like I said, my reason for doing that is like, listen, man. First of all, I didn't even I didn't even know he was dropping that first. You feel what I'm saying? But when I caught wind that he was dropping the same week, I dropped something start like school start turning in my head. You feel me? I'm like, oh, hold up. This might be a perfect, it's like my this might be like opportunistic marketing for me. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. If I can execute this correctly. Well, like, what's the chances of a guy that was that came out in the same era that I came out in that was 
part of a, a, a crew that we had quote unquote beef with dropping the same week that I'm dropping. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, listen, if I could somehow recreate some type of energy between us, yeah, I think that would be like exciting. You know what I mean? For like hip hop in the name of competitiveness. And, and 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 only in the name of competitiveness. That's that's the only thing it was about, man. It was it wasn't nothing more than that. I was saying, how, he, you were saying yours is, your project is better, but you ain't listening to his. So how you saying that? You mean how? Because I honestly believe that in my heart. It ain't just him. It's anybody that came out last week, this week. Oh, uh, you know, uh, anybody, <laughs> nigga. Whoever else dropped. Uh, yeah, I, I like. It yeah. so happened that he dropped the same week, so. He had, to, he, he had to get caught in that crossfire. He said whoever. Yeah. But I, yeah. I, I I I see what you said. On I, I, I listen to part of the vlog. But like you said, like you said, it's competitive, and and it, that's just what hip hop is, man. And like you said, it, it you it's a person that had a machine behind him, like you said. Absolutely. Like, like you had a machine. I mean, I mean, you did go platinum, but shit, you got the label. Your 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 boss is Fifty Cent. Right. Shit. So I mean, and, and that and that alone, right? And this is what happens when I say shit like that. I only explain that so the people, like like I said before, I don't I don't mean to keep repeating myself, but the for the people that can't look at things from a realistic standpoint, that's why I broke it down like that. And even with me breaking shit down in the simplest form for motherfuckers to try to make it make sense, mm -hmm. they still will try to flip that into something else. They be like, oh, he backtracking, or he trying to he, he trying to come up with an excuse, or you trying to do this and that now, nah, my man. I'm just telling you the reality of what shit is. You feel what I'm saying? This nigga had everything that he needed to be successful. You know what I mean? Not taking nothing from him. I'm just stating the facts. Like, nigga, you had a a, a, a more than competent label behind you. You mm -hmm. had a, a multi platinum selling CEO that had mm -hmm. no problem with pushing you to the front. Right. He gave you all the tools that you needed to be successful. He allowed you a chance to come out with an album that went platinum. He put mm -hmm. you on another album, which was the compilation, which went platinum. He had you on this album that went 10 times platinum. You know what I mean? Like, and not to mention your boss was in an undeniable fucking situation with Eminem and Dre. So you're a product of that. So it's like, it's a given. You're going to be placed in a situation where you're going to win. And like I said, like, it doesn't matter how long he was away from the scene. Just with a setup like that, you're gonna those, be good regardless. <laughs> those followers that you accumulated uh, or obtained during that time period, all of them not just gonna disappear. You feel what I'm saying? Not saying everybody's just gonna stick with you, but a large portion of that motherfucking fan base are gonna stick with you and support what you do. You feel what I'm saying? Because hey. you gotta think about it too. I think Yayo even went gold. You know, Yayo go gold. Yeah, one song that's so seductive that was it. And he went gold still. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? like, and I'm like, I'm trying to explain to people, right? I'm like, listen, man, you know, it ain't like about said, I'm, the not, I'm, not, like, I'm not taking anything away from him. I'm just stating facts, my nigga. I wasn't, unfortunately, I wasn't blessed with those same opportunities. You feel what I'm saying? Like the label that I was on, they wasn't able to do a third of what the label he was on did for him. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, when I say that, people are like, oh man, this nigga. Man, oh this nigga coming out, oh this nigga complaining, oh da da da. I'm like nah, my nigga, I'm just really telling you what it is, bro. Like people just listen to music, like they look at it like one layer of it. You feel what I'm saying? They don't, they don't really like break down shit and look at it past the surface. And I say that to say this: I'm a, I'm an unbiased lover of hip hop. You feel what I'm saying? So in a situation that we were in, as far as like the crews. Like in the early 2000s, okay, the, during that time period of the mixtape reign, the hottest crews was you had G Unit, D Block, Dipset. You feel what I'm saying? Stay probably in another couple of other crews and shit like that, but the main ones was D Block, Dipset, and G Unit. Okay, now on the level of distributing retail product, D Block was at the bottom of the totem pole. You know what I mean? Because the only retail product that was released under the D-Block imprint was Sheik Luch albums. You feel mm. what I'm saying? Like if you, you can look right now, there's no albums that came out underneath that imprint except Sheik Luch albums. You go yeah. look on the Dipset's imprint of everything that they distributed from their imprint, 
you have multiple albums, you have multiple Cam albums, you have multiple Jewel's albums, you have Hellrell albums, you have compilations, you have Jim Jones albums, man. Shit, you even got Freaky Zeke album. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's crazy. Like, and then you look at G Unit. Obviously, you have 50 albums, you have Bank shit, you have Yayo shit, you got Buck shit, you got the compilations, and there and there were there we were with just Sheik Luch albums. You feel what I'm saying? So that should show people right there that. Nigga, I wasn't given that opportunity that this motherfucker was given. And I said that that the first vlog that I released when I spoke on him, I said, listen, man, if I was placed in the situation that he was placed in, I can assure you that I probably would be a little further than he is right now. And I said that for the simple fact that uh, during my time of being with these guys, the time that they had me sitting back, that gave me time enough to like really peep shit. And they gave me uh, it sparked my mind to plant the seed to start my own shit. So when I was with them, I had planted the seed for ODG already because they had me sitting. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and and try to like uh, create something that that could be like a, a parachute for me if this shit don't work out the way that I want it to work. So I had artists already. You feel what I'm saying? And and some of those artists were like dope. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I said I would be in a further place because I would have. I would have been doing the, the CEO thing. I would have put somebody out. You feel what I'm saying? But the artist that I had, and this is another thing, we we, we actually in a, in a great space. Now we cool. I ain't saying we're the best, best of friends or nothing like that, but we spoke about shit and shit is, you know, we straight. But um, actually, one of the artists that I had ended up uh, running with D-Block after I left. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like they, they picked him up. And they started working with him after that. Actually, it was two of them. Two guys that out that was with ODG ended up going to D-Block. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest, one of the co-founders of ODG ended up staying with D-Block being a producer. You feel me? Yeah. So it was yeah. like, it, it shit deep. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was, I just think I would have been further. If I would have had the same situation, I mean, been blessed with that same shit the banks was with. And I said, not taking nothing away from them. But if I would have been in that situation, it would have been a totally different thing. Yeah. I don't know if we told you, you know, we got drops from um, all the members of the locks. Okay. Yeah, it's on our page, but all of them, Jada, uh, all, all three of them, they did drops for us. But I think, uh, no, nah, all of them did tight ones, man. All of them did tight ones. They each did their own thing on it. But yeah, I just want to tell you that. Okay. But, but yeah, no, nah, it, it's, it's, it's just one of them things, like you said, man, like, is when you were describing it to me now, it was like almost probably what Drake was doing with OVO. He probably was like, yo, I'm going to sit here at that young money right now, do my thing, but I'm going to have my shit set up for whenever it is, because it's probably going to be going forever. Right. But right. it's just a simple fact that, that 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 relationship kept going with him and Wayne to where nigga, niggas going to look for OVO just because you align with Wayne. Right. You align with... So, so you was thinking like, shit, all right, this ODG, I got this already popping. Nigga, D-Block about to be some... Some some of the yeah. best shit in the game. So ODG gonna be good. Yeah, he gonna set me up properly, and I'm gonna be able to set my guys up properly. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like to be completely honest with you, man, and and this might sound funny, but it's completely true, man. From the gate, nigga, my plans were to my my honest plans were to retire at 25, man. I never wanted to rap past 25. I wanted to put out yeah. three four albums and quit. That was my plans as a teenager. You know what I'm saying? But Shit ain't work out, man. I'm glad you nah. told like what so like I mean so you remember uh, you know currency, right? Yeah. So currency, I remember he was with no limit, then he was with Lil Wayne, then he broke off, did his own thing, but he ended up uh, making the following and, and doing his thing. So what do you think? You think is anything like you could have did different? Like like you, even the same thing happened. Is it something that you think you could have did different to be in a better place? As far as with the with that old situation, yeah, like something like you think uh, you could have did it, like I said, somebody, and I guess separate and apart, listening that that need to hear that. Like, and I guess besides besides leaving the way I did, I don't think you know it would have been anything that could have been done differently. Like that's that's my biggest thing. I just you know, I could have I could have handled the situation in a total different way. You know what I'm saying? Like other than that though, I don't think I think it was pretty much out of my hands because everything else were the doings of, you know, other people. You feel what I'm saying? That, like, had actual control over the label in the situation. I had no no power, no say-so, shit. So, 
Like, I don't, I don't really see nothing else that could have been done. Is radio reaching out to play the music from the from the from the new joint or? Cause I mean I know we talked about that last time where it was like shit. You, like I can't even get a my shit on Hot Nine Seven, but it's like yeah, I mean, it's 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 a, it's some funny. It's still funny shit, man. Because man, okay now, like I put up a post yesterday. I didn't want to leave it up too long because I don't want people to misinterpret what's being said, and I don't want people to look at it the wrong way, but. I kind of briefly spoke on the fact that, okay, my album came out last week, mm -hmm. um, as well as a, a couple other albums, but my album wasn't uh, reviewed, reported on, or anything from any of these major hip hop sites, these mags, these blogs, none of these niggas, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm telling niggas it's not by coincidence. And I'm yeah. like, you're not gonna tell me, you're not gonna sit here and tell me, even if, I'm not saying that my shit is the, like I said, the the hands down hottest project of every project that dropped because these niggas got bags behind them. They have the production that they choose at the drop of a dial. Like they could do anything. They have, these motherfuckers got machines behind. They got all type of shit. They got whatever feature that they want at, the, at their disposal. Right. I don't have any of that, nigga. This is just me, nigga. I record myself. I record all my own songs. I do everything. Dolo, nigga. I do my own artwork. Everything. So I'm like, man, listen, I shouldn't even get a review. You gonna sit and try to tell me that my shit ain't better than half of these niggas shit that dropped last week? You feel me? Like, nah, you ain't gonna sit here and tell me that. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm like, my shit ain't even get looked at or reviewed or nothing. It's like, if, it, if it's whack, these motherfuckers will review it just to say it's whack because they can't wait to throw you under the bus. You feel what I'm saying? Especially being a nigga like me. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, they can't wait. But it's like the thing they like, yo, now nah, we're not even gonna review it or, or shine any type of light on it because by reviewing it, you're basically you're 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 you're, you're giving it attention and you're showing people Yeah, it's like giving you acknowledgement. Yeah, that the project is out by acknowledging it. Yeah, so they yeah. they're not gonna do that. But yeah, and it's but like, if you, some, mm -hmm. some stupid goofy shit, man. Yeah, but if you saying we we talked and everything is at a you know it's at an impasse it's like me, meaning ain't no ain't no drama but so why why wouldn't they come out and just do that publicly for for the sake yeah, of motherfuckers, motherfuckers did it they did it a few times publicly but it, it was to the point where i guess it still could be taken as you know i don't really know and and even being in radio you should know man like anybody could say anything in the public but behind mm -hmm. closed doors it could be something else you feel right. what I'm saying? Like right. you can say whatever while the camera's on, but as soon as that camera get turned off, whoever like, don't fuck with that nigga. The camera like, off, don't fuck with I, I, I just said that for the camera, nigga. But you know what it is, really, you feel know I me? Mean? Like, yeah, all day. So it could be some shit like that, man. And it's like to to speak on that, right? I'll be trying to tell people, man, this game is uh this shit is constructed on deception and illusion. You feel what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like this whole industry, man, and and it's way too much politics in this shit. You feel me? Like, like one day I put it like this, right? My first time I met the nigga Meek Mill. And before I even get into that, me personally, I tell you, what Meek is was what uh I was supposed to be. That, that was these guys aimed with me. I was supposed to be Meek Mill before Meek Mill. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying this ain't got nothing to do with him on a personal level, but I'm just saying, right. like, what Ross did with him is what these motherfuckers was attempting to do with me, but it just, yeah. it just didn't do it right. Okay, so my first time seeing me, meeting me, it was a few years ago, right? I seen him, and uh, and the funny thing about it, it was a party that Kiss was at too. Mm. So when I seen this nigga, he walking in and shit, and there's so many people, I ain't thinking this nigga gonna really like, you know, recognize me like that. I mean, I'm gonna say what up and all that shit, but I wasn't expecting him to react the way he reacted because he was with so many people, but on the walkthrough when he came in, and I'm like, yo, what up, nigga? He looked at me and shit. The nigga was like, yo, oh, shit. Yo, yo, oh, shit, nigga. Yo, niggas fuck with you, my nigga. Oh, shit. Like, to the point where I'm looking at this nigga like, a like, word. What? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But, but at the same time, in my mind, I'm like, yo, nigga, I know niggas came up off of niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Because he's from that cloth. And he's from Philly, and I know how our fan base was in Philly, so... To, to that point, I wasn't like too blown away, but it was the way that he reacted that had me like, yo, oh shit. And it was just so crazy 
it was crazy to the point where when we left the club that night, one of my homies was like, yo, dog, nigga, you ought to hit that nigga up for a feature, man, see if you can get a verse from him or some shit. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, please. I'm like, nigga, that nigga ain't doing no fucking verse, my nigga. Like, that shit is yeah. cool. You can say whatever you want to a nigga face to face, but nigga, this shit is about politics. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. And I'm like, this nigga's super cool with this nigga, and he cool with this nigga. And at the end of the day, it ain't, nigga ain't going to do it. And I'm like, nigga, just to prove my point, I reached out to him like not too long after that and got no response from the nigga. But I, I already knew what it was going to be, but I did that just to prove my point to my homie. I'm like, nigga, this, this whole shit is funny, man. These motherfuckers, a lot of motherfuckers, even if they see that the shit is over with, it's still the lingering factor. Like, you know what I mean? They don't want to feel like they're stepping on anybody's toes. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, let's say, let's say, like, at any point, if I was to blow, right? And this is just reality. I could, I, 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 let's say somebody co signed me and I just blew up and, and I was out of here. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, even though these niggas ain't got nothing to do with it, niggas is still going to look at these niggas and be like, man, they could have did the same shit with this nigga. They used to have this nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's like, so some people, they don't want to be looked at as the people that gave this nigga somewhat of a lifeline or shine the light on him or gave him an opportunity to get placed in a winning situation because they're, they're in fear of what these other motherfuckers might say to them or how they might look at them for helping out somebody that they that went against them. You feel me? Like, it's a it's a bunch of goofy shit, but that's how niggas are, man. No, it's just, it, and, and no, that shit happened in all different types of scenarios in life, too. Like, I got a brother, and this fool be on that, uh, he on some, like, he a more. He a okay. more type... So in public, niggas be like, okay, that's what's up. You feel me? I feel you on that shit. But when the family talk, they be like, that nigga a weirdo on the behind the scenes. <laughs> 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 but, they, <laughs> but he but he wouldn't know that because when they talking to him face to face, they like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay, I feel you what you're talking. Shit. Yeah, man, I, yeah, I'm proud of you with this. Then you then you be like, damn, how come like you like you? How come I'm getting you give me the acc- accolades in person? But when it's time to do some work or, or my album drop, all y'all ain't nowhere to be found. That's a fact. You even holler at a nigga. Nigga won't even <laughs> holler. You know what I mean? Like a nigga, a nigga just saying what up, nigga. And niggas won't even acknowledge a nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Like a dog. That nigga serious? Hey, but like you said, they ain't even calling my shit trash either, though. It's like I ain't getting no feedback. Yeah, like yo, come on, bro. Like, and the shit is funny because Double XL, the last time they reported on me, like they the, the, the before the last time they gave me a good review on like a mixtape I had dropped, and the time after that, they tried to do some slick shit and, and wrote some negative shit about me um, and put me in a column of some disgruntled employees that that didn't live up to what they were supposed to when they left their old groups or some some fly slick shit they said. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, okay, y'all niggas want to do that. But when a nigga drops some fire, y'all don't want to report on that though. You feel what I'm saying? Because you don't right, want right, niggas right. to be like, yo. A nigga that left these niggas is still on his one two and putting out fire. Y'all niggas, it's an it's an agenda these motherfuckers be pushing, man. And it's like these niggas ain't gonna give you no type of rope to pull yourself out of whatever situation you in. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, I mean, oh, I, I just, I just, I just, I see the thing on here uh, about X Double XL. It was on some thing where uh, I guess artists who beef with their boss before they left or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they wild. Like, you know, they wild. Well, like you said, y'all could put some negative. You could put some negative shit out about me, but you can't. Be put... like, I don't know. A lot of that stuff be like little white kids running that shit now, man. That's not like, <laughs> yeah, it ain't gonna That's be cool. nobody that really listen to hip hop. He's like little twenty year old white kids. They don't even know what the fuck going on. Be right. right. Then, then I got these Lloyd Banks fans that be motherfucking. All of my goddamn comments every goddamn day now. You know what I mean? I'm like, dog, it never was, man. Nigga. Y'all niggas tripping. They're like, right yo, they like, yo, look at Banks where he had on the charts. Look at him on iTunes, Apple Music charts. Where your shit at? I'm Damn. Like, yo, I'm, like, I'm like, yo, fan. This is a nigga that sold millions, man. But <laughs> also, and like good. you said, the game is fake anyway. So it's like, it don't matter who album is better realistically. Because yeah, if, like, I don't, if I don't, if I don't, with 50 Cent, man. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, nigga, I never Yo. said I was going to outsell this nigga. Nigga, that's a given. Who the fuck? Who the fuck you think I'm stupid? I never said that. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Like, so what the fuck y'all niggas talking about? Like, yo, where, where your shit at? Nowhere near his shit, though, as far as fucking numbers goes, nigga, I'll tell you that. But, you know, 
But they always say uh they you know men lie, women lie. I guess but I guess that's the thing too, man. Like uh that's the thing, like even um I saw Vlad because they was talking about all the podcaster and the top podcasters, and Vlad was like, Oh, I got the most numbers, so I should be up there. So everybody think numbers is the main thing, they don't go by right. quality no more. Like six nine had numbers, like, but that don't mean he the top. Like, I never go by numbers. That don't that don't mean you the tightest first just because you got the most numbers. And some of them dudes is coach. I think they coach some of them top podcasts and shit like yeah. that. They coach they culture vultures to me anyway. Like they don't even know the culture, bro. You just some dude who got put on by, like you said, shit. Fifty could say right now, yo, everybody go listen to Just Two Black Brothers podcast. That's the number one podcast in the world. Niggas gonna be on here. They gonna be on this shit like, okay, this no one. They ain't heard one episode though, but it's the best shit they ever heard. <laughs> and another thing too though, even with that whole shit, man, people, real niggas know, man, a lot of the numbers be be manipulated. Hey. Yeah. You know, like and, and if. Inflated and shit like motherfucker, nigga, that shit ain't real, man. And the way and the way they treating you, shit, that could be something they did just to fuck with you. Oh, we're gonna make sure bank, we're gonna make it look like bank shit selling better than his because he wanna go out, he wanna jump off the porch and say something. So we yeah. yeah. But But this is the thing, right? But if a nigga like 50 was to do shit like that, or when when he thought of a marketing plan to 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 go against Kanye, people looked at as being genius. I mean, excuse me, people looked at that as being genius. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because it was a marketing strategy. But when I create a marketing strategy to try to bring light to my project, because I'm like, you know what? I already know what it's going to be. These niggas are not going to give me the proper just do. They're not going to give me the light on my shit. They're not going to do what they're supposed to do as far as like giving me the attention that it deserves. So what can I do to create some type of extra attention around my shit? So that's when I came up with the the idea to use that as a marketing strategy. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what? Okay, banks drop. Why not do that? You feel what I'm saying? Like, whether people look at it negatively or positively, like, my, my whole thing was, you, you know about the laws of power now. I'm like, you know what, nigga? Stir up waters to catch fish, my nigga. That's what I did, man. Get get people to start talking, whether it's negative or positive. As long as I got you to talk, nigga, the, nigga, the job was goddamn done. You feel me? Uh, yeah. I, said, I, think, I think it was smart. Shit. That's smart to me. But also, also you can look at it. Floyd Mayweather be doing this shit. Speaking of Floyd and that. Speaking of Floyd, I said, boy, I said, boy, look, look, you can't, you can't trust shit now. I said, watch it next. (laughs) (laughs) Watch it next. He thought when he knocked him out, he held him up, and he held him up because they, I guess they. Hey yo, and it's crazy, right? Because people like yo, you see, uh, who was it? Showtime or who? Who the fuck sponsored that shit? Yeah, Showtime. Showtime is goddamn offering people their money back. Mm-hmm. Like, also, because the, yeah, yeah, they offered the money back because the stream, the site was messed up. The st- even the regular HBO, even the regular Showtime channels wasn't working on cable for that. Some oh, happened with they that. Give, oh, they giving the money back because of that? Yeah, it was like it, it, it was, it was messed up with the streaming and then shit. Like even if you had regular Showtime, it wasn't working while the fight was on for some reason. Okay, for some reason, I thought maybe they might have been giving the money back because the consumers weren't satisfied or some shit. Because I'm like, what? They should I, give it back. Shit. Like, know what's look, funny? No, look, though, but I was having this conversation about the fight with my little shorty and shit. She like, yo, man, I ain't gonna lie. I was disappointed. I'm like, not me, because I already knew what to expect. I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, first sure. and foremost, if you, if, if, you, if you know boxing, you ain't gonna really be you wouldn't have been disappointed because everyone knows Floyd ain't no knockout artist. That's number one. Uh-huh. Number two, homeboy got this nigga about like six and a half. Inches. Hey, if that nigga would have landed yeah, a clean pounds. hit on Floyd, <laughs> that yeah. should have been a wreck. He got Floyd about six and a half inches. He got him about 50 plus pounds. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm like, I already know what this is going to be. Floyd going to be on this super duper defense, trying mm-hmm. not to get hit with one of them, go- them phantom punches from this white boy. Mm-hmm. And then like, he going to just tap, tap dance around the ring and try to hit him. But I'm like, you know what? I'm hoping that Floyd can land a like real hit on him. Cause I'm like, you know what? He ain't no knockout artist, but let, let me hope, man. Like, just let me hope. Yeah. Let him make a hope. I hope he hit him with something that drop him. You know what I mean? He did but, drop him, but they held, held the nigga up. Facts. Floyd, like, you know what, nigga? I gotta entertain y'all niggas. I ain't gonna end They ain't gonna fuck up that money. They probably they had to knock him out in the first round. The folks gonna be mad as hell. Facts. <laughs> y'all never saw that uh, movie Great White Hype? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I was like, it's funny how they doing that shit right now in front of our face. And we just Nigga, like, they would never let me and right you now. call Floyd out and get get on like that. 
I couldn't get no, on my, no. these niggas ain't for nobody. You get to fight Floyd for your first fight. What's the, what's, the homie, what's, the, what's the what's the OG homie name, man? Um, let's go, Jeff. Let's uh, go, Shannon Briggs. Who? Shannon Briggs. They won't let they won't let Shannon Briggs fight nobody, man. Like you know what I mean? Like <laughs> when he on the stage, well, he more of a boxer, a real boxer than this other nigga, and they yeah, won't let him no match. Yeah, he been out the game. They been like he was trying to fight them Clisco brothers for a long ass time. Nobody would fight him. Right, man, and these niggas pop up out of nowhere. They challenging everybody getting fights though. It's so it's like, who behind it? Who behind them? Well, I'm like, you can't even blame Floyd if that dude coming up with a million, a hundred million dollars to pay him to fight him. Shit, I, I don't blame him fighting. He better get that money. Shit, that's yeah, a lot yeah. of money. Crazy. That yeah, nigga right. like, I know they put him behind my back, nigga. It's like uh, wrestling. It's like it's like make him look good, make him look all right. Don't don't do him too dirty. That's all they told him. I mean, that's what he did. Got his man, money. he cleaned that man. He cleaned that nigga up real quick, man. But they make him look too bad. You know what I mean? He hit him with a couple. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let him know real quick. Yeah, this they were right. that yeah. white boy too. The rest of the fight, that, he was he was throwing that nigga was out on his feet, man. That nigga was like, <laughs> that nigga was like, that nigga I'm like, how do you think he gonna win? He only throwing one punch. He went throwing number one punch the whole fight. I was like, he can't win throwing one punch. Oh, who the dude, the white boy? Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like know that. if I peaked it right. As soon as the fight was over, first of all, homeboy was dumb happy. But as soon as the fight was over, <laughs> the nigga tried to go up the floor like, yo, man, floor like, yo, man, I ain't gonna lie. No, go hey. Like, you already got paid. Hey, already got paid already, bro. Like, it's a wrap. Back, <laughs> back up, man. Because nigga, I really want to fuck you up for you ripping off my hat for one. You yeah. we we ain't cool, but for this hundred mil, nigga, I love you. Yeah, buddy. We, 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 I, they were saying, uh, that shit was uh, I want to see that Willie fight next, man. I hope that I hope he whooped that boy ass. That nigga was popping shit at the last round. Know what I mean, like I'm like, nigga, man, let's get hit in the mouth real quick. Punch this nigga in his fucking mouth. Nigga. Hey, it's like that UFC fight, well, boy, you dance in front of Usman. Usman, Usman connected with that man. He fucked that nigga up, man. Like you can't do that in a real fight. What what's his name? Mazi Mazi Gall Mazi Gall. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, when he got when Kuzman Kuzman floored his ass because you know he you can't be uh doing that tone shit know, to a real yeah. to a real killer like that, man. Like you gotta leave your yeah. guard up at all times. You know what fight I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for that motherfucking rematch of the homie DeAndre Wilder, man. Yo, that's my right. guy. Yeah. That's next month, right? Yeah, he's gay, man. Huh? That's, that's, that's my nigga too. Well, I'm I'm uh, a fan. Back here about the fight, Spence. They got a lot of fights going on. But I said, look, yeah. they saying why, why, why Pacquiao fighting Spence? Like, why? Uh, what's the name? They trying to fight Spence? Um, Who that? Uh, yeah. Crawford. Yeah, Crawford. Terrence Crawford. Why he? Ain't they don't to... want to fight each other because Spence know he's gonna lose fighting against Crawford. Crawford uh, wrong. Yeah, he don't Crawford, fight yeah, Crawford, yeah, Crawford hard, man. I need to see DeAndre Wilder whoop this nigga. Um, Tyson Fury. I need to see him whoop Tyson Fury. Man, you know, Tyson Fury is hard. Tyson Fury cheated. That nigga cheated last time, man. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, they said he had, the metal, he had the metal in his gloves. That nigga had something in this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> this shit wasn't even tied up properly, man. <laughs> he had bricks in his gloves and shit. Hey, yeah, that, hey, that, hey, that, that shit might have felt like that nigga had bricks in his shit the way he was hitting that nigga. I ain't gonna fuck. Hey, that is nah. Wilder can't be wearing that goddamn hundred pound costume to the stage, nigga. Walking off that shit on. You he gonna be tired of shit when you get in the ring. Hey, that be shit gonna him down, man. <laughs> he gonna take notes, man. Tyson came out with a fucking towel on his shoulder, and that was it. That was uh, it. Put shit on when he came to the ring. Hey, and he probably and, and Wilder probably got some ass before he came out. Hey, you get some right. ass, your girl in the locker room. You get some ass real quick, and you put that, that goddamn nigga, costume that on. Probably there. got topped off in the dressing room or some shit. Hey. Hey, I, I told Paul this story, man. One time, nigga, I, I wanted to get ready for a big night in the big event before, man. So I had this chick coming to the crib. So, nigga, somebody, I was young too, nigga. Somebody told me, nigga, rub one out before she get there, nigga. You go, you gonna, you gonna tear ass up when, when she get there, nigga. I can't even get that shit out when she get there. Nigga. Oh, no. nigga, hey, I was like, whoa! I said, wait, whoa, whoa! I said, wait. This nigga, I'm like, nigga, that shit won't work. And she was like, what happened? I'm like, I ain't want to tell the bitch I brought one out. I mean, I want to tell them niggas. I said, man, why y'all tell me that shit? <laughs> <laughs> that you nigga blamed me. Nigga, I was a young boy. Talk to her, probably like 19, 20. Nigga said, rub one out, nigga, before she get there. Nigga, you be all right. Nigga, it was Wrong a rap, man. It was a rap, nigga. I was like, wow, there was first Fury. Nigga, that nigga Fury Torres. Fury Torres. Yeah, dogs. That nigga legs turned into lasagna, man. All day. But now nah, you know what Fury though know, like nigga he you, you can't get in there like you know Wilder got that one hit one, one hit a quitter but shit Fury can just keep you at bay with his long ass arm yeah good ass defense you gotta, you gotta really box that nigga Wilder yeah. got a different 
he got a different trainer he's been working with. And he yeah, that's what they said. Team. Yeah, so he look all right, man. He like he got the he look like he got a bunch of um he got the fundamentals now, like you know what I mean. Yeah, he, he got some combinations. Yeah, he, he getting the fundamentals. Right one hand too, so he finally right. got some combinations. But man, I don't know Fury Raw though. When yeah, I saw that, Fury, nigga, I ain't gonna front. that nigga, I think that nigga <laughs> need to work on his legs, have because yeah, his legs. His leg, small. Yeah, he, he like Mike Tyson, Tyson legs. legs. But Mike Tyson legs are little. I ain't yeah. hold. He, he ain't even got Mike Tyson legs though. That nigga uh. got like, damn, <laughs> that nigga got Papa legs. Uh, man, when I saw Fury lick his blood, though, I was like, man, that's some crazy shit right there. He licked this, he licked this fucking blood in that fight. I was like, oh shit! All that oh, shit, man. I knew he was. All that shit was over when I saw that. I was like, he licked this fucking blood. Oh, he about to fuck this dude. No, nah, he was locked. Yeah, he was locked in. That nigga was locked in at yeah. that point. Shit, well, gonna gonna really, it's gonna be a good fight, man. I, I want him to win. You know, you always bet on black, so I want him to win. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to win. <laughs> You can't lose again, man. He's gonna set us back 130 years, man. That's a fact, nigga. We ain't no love in the heavyweight. I see Ruiz and gain all that damn weight back. I was like, he fell off after he beat Joshua. Uh, yeah, I was saying, I, I, like, like yeah. I, I like Joshua, but I think he just don't get no uh, no love out here because he's from the UK. So, you know, nobody out here be really, he kind of like Liz Lewis. You remember Liz Lewis knocking the motherfucker right. out? But we want right, right. no attention to him, so. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie though. I want to see him and Wilder, man. Damn, that'd be they, a good they, one. They, I think they both been ducking each other for years. They both been ducking. I, I think, think yeah, and I think Wilder probably. Hey, real talk. I think Wilder knock him out too. But you guys know. Yeah. So, so, but Joshua is the one. Okay, Wilder, he the wild one. But Joshua yeah. is the one that's the Olympian. Yeah, he got, got technique. Yeah, and that nigga big and, and shit shape. too. And he like yeah. he like six seven like Wilder. Like he in different yeah. shape, man. He like in that shape where like uh like he trained like had a program since day one like that Olympic program. Yeah. He big man. I'm saying he just lost to Ruiz because he was sleeping. That was the off night. He probably yo. I, I, I was at I was at that fight. He lost to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was at the Garden. Oh, I'm saying he probably did, he probably was like whatever when he saw that fight he probably wasn't even thinking about that. Yo, shit. niggas wasn't even tripping off Reeves in the in the garden. Niggas was like, oh, like you see, he just can't walk around with the Reeves jackets on. They like, hey, this nigga finna get knocked out later. Ain't nobody fucking with y'all. <laughs> then he going there yeah. and it was like, ooh. But you know how much money you, you know how much money you probably won if you bet on Reeves though. Shit, but he probably fucked up. the other dude. But the other dude popped on the drug test. Remember? Yeah, Ruiz is like a two, like a two month yeah. feeling or something okay, like that. He wasn't yeah. even prepared for that dude, so it kind of got him like that. That shit be prepping you up when you prepare for one dude, they give you another fight all of a sudden. Huh? Yeah, you, 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 you riding with your Lakers? I see you got the Laker hat on. Yeah, you know I ain't gonna lie, we out the playoffs, but I'm, I'm still Laker faithful, man. You know what I mean? Like my team was hurt, my was injured, but you know that ain't no excuse. But niggas, all role players, man, all role players was trash. I'm not going to hold it. Hey, them man. niggas show up like once every four games, nigga. You be like, come them, on. Them <laughs> it's garbage. I'm going to tell you what needs to happen right now. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is, man. Everybody except goddamn the untouchables, which is Braun and AD, everybody besides that, I say we keep THC. So? We keep THC and, you know, make. Drummond, maybe, but everybody else, they what can go. What about Caruso? Now, we got to get rid of him, too. He cool. They, get, they, they already said, they said Drummond got assigned to a minimum when they ain't going to keep him. Yeah, no, nah, no doubt. Exactly. Hell no, like, hell everybody else, bad. though, y'all can get going, man. Cool, get cool with the fuck out of there. Pack him yeah, up in Alaska or some shit. Got them. Marquis Morris, you my G, but. I like that. Them niggas hard, but you don't look. You you cool sit on the sideline, my nigga. We you, you can't come in the game, bro. They could have kept them niggas. Nah, they, 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 um, they won with anyway. Why they switch? They not even cool on the sideline no more because niggas yeah. need niggas that can actually <laughs> got them contribute. Uh, you know what I mean? like, why they ain't doing what they already had? They should have kept. Who they should have kept? Howard and McGill. Yeah, McGee. yeah. yeah. They, 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 they ain't need Marc Gasol. They ain't need Marc Gasol. They ain't need Marc Gasol. And then let Rondo Dennis, go too. Yeah. Dennis Schroeder is trash, nigga. They like, oh, but look, somebody told me, oh, it's LeBron fault because Schroeder was balling last year, but then having to play with LeBron, it changed his game. I'm like, I don't remember Schroeder balling. Like, I remember he was decent, like 15, 15 points. And he was coming off the bench. He was coming off the bench. Facts. That's his thing. You know what I mean? See, look, look. Mm -hmm. His thing is he's a he's a come off the bench nigga. 
You get yeah. to the Lakers, you try to you try to make the man talk about you want to start and all that other type of shit. This ain't yeah. why you was somewhat successful in the other, the other team that you was with. You was somewhat successful because you was coming off the bench. So yeah, this is the way that they needed to use him. And and when he was coming in the game, it's not like you was making no hell of a contribution because <laughs> in the game with Braun when he was facing Phoenix, nigga, you had zero. Nigga. Zero. Him and, K- him and KCP had zero. Hey, I'm like, look. You ain't gonna win no game with them two niggas scoring zero. That's just not. And AD ain't playing either. Fat, yo, my Come nigga. On. They said that nigga made history, my nigga. They said that nigga was the first nigga in Lakers history, my nigga, to 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 go zero for nine in a playoff game. Hey, I bet Smush Parker, Crummy Brown, happy as shit. Like, thank God, <laughs> nigga. Hey, God, nigga. Hey, hey, look, Smush Parker, Smush Parker, Smush Parker, all the niggas like, woo, nigga. Hey, Schroeder, good look it out, bro, because niggas talking shit about that for years. Garbage? Come on, bro. That's hey, crazy. but hey, I see the story today. They was like, shit, nigga, get rid of AD and bring in Lillard. Fuck oh. no. I heard, I'm hearing the story. What the Westbrook? Bring, trade everybody else For and Westbrook? bring Lillard. So it'll be motherfucking Rod, Lillard, and AD. Right. Oh, okay. Trade everybody else for Lillard. Facts. Yeah, that's a rap with that. It's nah, a rap. Like with, with Westbrook, I wouldn't I wouldn't like Westbrook because that nigga can't shoot either. So hell no. That ain't that gonna work. <laughs> all, all. E- either Lillard or, or Bradley Bill. But I would prefer oh, yeah. Lillard. Because they need they you know what you're right, because they need a guard that can shoot. If they had a guard that can shoot, because you look like like we got we got a all we got always we gotta come to the conclusion that Bron's good days are behind him. Yeah, like, like, like he about to be thirty. He gonna be thirty seven when next year come yeah, in. So, yeah. so it's like, but, but he can still give you twenty five. He can still give you twenty twenty five. If LeBron, if, but you got, but the thing is, LeBron, LeBron, would, LeBron, would, LeBron no would have to accept but that think, role too, though. But shit, I think Bron is more than willing to accept that role because he's he. I think he 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 embraced the role of being a facilitator. Like you know what I mean? Facts, like facts, facts. He he comfortable with that. These motherfuckers just, they just ain't, ain't coming through, right? <laughs> but I'm saying, what about AD if he don't stay healthy? That's what I'm saying. AD, AD, AD got a goddamn that nigga got to start doing yoga, or that nigga Bron got to get that nigga a hyperbaric chamber. Now you know what AD got to do? Now you got to send AD to sing sing for like three months, nigga. Get hard, nigga. Because yeah. <laughs> they you getting body, and you don't want no part of the contact though. Like AD was like, I ain't even going in the paint with AD. I'm like AD got to stop flopping all the goddamn time, man. When that nigga be <laughs> when that nigga be jumping and shit, every time he jump, that nigga legs be like this. Uh huh. That nigga trying to, to get a foul, to me, my nigga. Because you keep being hurt because you ain't fucking landing properly. And this shit like this when you jump, nigga like this fucking dog. Niggas be scared as hell every time he fall. They like that nigga. And, now, and the nigga wonder why his knees and ankles is always messed up. Oh, and thighs, no, you let look. Next time you watch that nigga, I bet you you gonna you gonna look and you gonna be like you gonna think about what I just said. You gonna look at his legs. You are gonna be like yo, fool. Okay, I see what you're talking about. Uh, going over the place. Nah, but yeah, he really like I said, and I said, you know what? I, I I can't even use that excuse where he was. They was like, oh, he just you know he was a point guard all his life, and he shot up like from six one to six ten in like a year, and he yeah, still absolutely. feel like he a guard. You know, it's like I'm a guard just in a big man body. Cause he's smooth. He's smooth as shit when he when he on. Any guy just be more aggressive, man. You know what I mean? Like if you want to be that alpha, if you want niggas to know, like nigga, this is nigga. I'm taking the torch from Braun, nigga. This is about to be me, nigga. You got to step up and really be that. You know what I mean? You can't be yeah, passive fact. at all. Man. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if that's him. Yeah, I, don't, I think it's a lot of players that the reason why they ain't supplanted LeBron as the face of the NBA is because of what you just said. They ain't aggressive, or they don't want no part of that. Like KD would never be the face because KD don't fool with. KD just want a ball. Right. He, right. he I'm not a role model. I ain't doing no interviews. I don't fool with y'all. Kyrie same way. <coughs> I'm gonna tell you some shit, right? And niggas mm-hmm. might not like what I'm saying. I'm about to say, but I'm not gonna lie, man. <coughs> I hope, I hope Brooklyn don't win it. You feel me? I'm not gonna hold you. Niggas call me a hater. Niggas call me whatever you want. I hope they don't win. Anybody but them in the Clippers. I don't give a fuck. No, I say I don't want Brooklyn to win because the way they assembled that team, that niggas on some bullshit, man. You know what Uh, I mean? Hey, what what would that be like in rap? That'd be like if. Like shit, if if Nas if Nas signed with Rock Rock Nation, it'll be like Slaughterhouse. I mean, not at not not at this point right now though. 
you gotta let me see. Oh, so right now, okay, so like Benny. No, he's talking about right now though. Not right now. Now, so the house house didn't work. The house house didn't work nice, though. But they was they wasn't moving no units though. Right. Yeah. Uh, that, was, that, it was, it was something that looked good on paper. That's say look. That say that's like that's like a motherfucking. That's that's like J Cole do an album with motherfucking Kendrick Lamar or something. <laughs> I ain't gonna say Kendrick because I ain't gonna tell you. I don't think Kyrie will be looked at as no Kendrick. You know. He what might mean? be like, with that pro black. Both pro black. No, nah, I'm, I'm talking about as far as like on a on a level of rap that people. Oh, legacy, at. legacy type. Okay, okay. okay. Now, I mean, they, they look at they look at Kendrick like he top five right now type shit. I don't think yeah. nobody looking at Kyrie like yo, you top five right now. Yeah, facts. What like, about Harden though? Harden definitely, Harden definitely up there. But that's what I'm saying, my nigga. That's the bullshit. You got KD, Harden, Kyrie, and then you got Blake. Hey, Blake, Blake, Blake. Look, hey, but, and Blake you got Blake, and look. you got Blake who pulled a fast one like he look, couldn't ball hey, no more. Hey, hey, you got the Blake Griffin that could jump again. <laughs> <laughs> and they almost had all rich. I was like, all rich. All rich Look, luckily, all rich retired. Hey, I was like, what? <laughs> y'all niggas, niggas ain't playing fair, man. Hey, I was at game. I was at game two, uh, first series when they was playing. Uh, then who they played first round? Oh, Boston. I was at the game, nigga. It was a game when Joe Harris went off. I saw. I was like, yo, that ain't fair, bro. Because I'm like, shit. Joe Harris had 29. Nigga, that nigga shit. game is a beast. <laughs> So they it was don't like, game plan for him. That's why he got twenty nine. Yeah, they don't game plan for. They ain't game plan for Joe Harris, man. If you got a game plan for them three. The fourth, fifth player on your team. Nobody Yo, bro, I am, I'm not gonna hold you up, man. I look. I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad if motherfucking the Phoenix Suns won it all. I wouldn't be mad if. That's what I said. They fired up, boy. They got I a squad. Hey, I like, a, I like Atlanta, too. I like Atlanta, too, boy. I was Atlanta. about to say that. I wouldn't be mad if Atlanta or either Phoenix Suns won. You know what I mean? Long, long as the Clippers don't win or long as Brooklyn don't win, I'm Gucci. Yo, if Atlanta play uh, Phoenix in the finals, that should be like 200 to 200 every game. Them niggas be gunning, boy. Bad. I like, Chris Paul, I like man, him. Boy, man. Who? Chris Paul. Yeah, yeah I like Chris like Paul, him? too. That's why Nick, man, I, I like, like how, I like how every team he go with, he get they get better. Oh, you like him? You like Chris Paul? Yeah. yeah I, I ain't gonna hold down like Chris Paul, man. You, so you, <laughs> you think he's too arrogant? He might he might be a cool nigga in real life, <laughs> but like basketball, I ain't fucking with him. Dirty. Now he played dirty, boy. He a dirty basketball player. That nigga like he did LeBron. Uh, like he did LeBron when he did the hip. Yeah, that nigga is filthy, my nigga. Hey, wait, Poe. That's why Hood don't like him because when he did the LeBron. Nah, <laughs> like, I don't like him because he's just a dirty player, my nigga. Like, yeah, he's dirty, boy. He the know how to put move in those cars. Seen that shit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trip pools. The nigga be doing all type of dirty shit, grabbing niggas' arms, yep. linking up. Like, my nigga, you was a fucking filthy player, my nigga. Hey, I wonder if they was talking Kuzma. Man, look, if them niggas could have get got a, gave away Kuzma and kept Brandon Ingram, Ingram. they would have oh Nigga, whew, they be fire, boy. Ingram, Ingram, cold now. They kept the Fact, You know what it is? Though? I think Ingram needed that change of scenery to fully blossom to what he is, though. You know what I mean? But you know what they said he, that. I don't think he would have been able to do that like there. But if yeah. any, if they could have kept anybody, I think they probably should have. Uh, ball. Oh, it went out. Yeah, they should have kept ball. Ball for what? They should have kept Ingram. If they could have kept, if they couldn't have kept Ingram, if they if they would have just been oh, like, yo, we'll let y'all keep uh ball instead of Kuzma. Cause that nigga Kuzma, man, I'd be like, damn. I said, man, you be missing every like I, he got some game, we just miss everything. No, that's what I was trying to say. I was gonna say uh they, they need like nowadays you need a number three. They ain't got no number three. You need big three. Yeah, yeah, you need a big three. But people be trying to hate saying that's why I'm like, man. How y'all be like, oh, these players all need help. I'm like, nigga, nigga, Brooklyn got help. Oh, oh wait, he'll come back in. I guess. Yeah, I said, man, that's that's help. Shit, nigga, if you got if if or she even go to state if Draymond Green said. Soon as we lost to the Cavs, we called Katie on the phone and was like, "Come to Golden State, uh, nigga." What's if, if how you gonna applaud that? But then say LeBron a bitch for doing it with with Chris Bosh. Uh, like shit, that's the same thing. That's that's even better. You got an even better team. 
If yeah, you got Brooklyn KD, got, Steph, and Clay, got food, yeah, Brooklyn got, got, Brooklyn got Yeah, they got shit. No, um, Jordan still play for them? Who? The yeah, he'll be playing that much now though, cause shit. Oh, you know? It'd be it'd be uh it'd be Blake Griffin playing down there. They also he uh DeAndre Jordan will be playing that much. Shit, they got Jeff Green. He hurt, but shit, Jeff Green, I right, coming off the bench. You got that uh it's another dude here, rookie. He good. Oh uh his name Claxton. He a big man. I think he be playing he be playing more than DeAndre Jordan. Mm. But shit, Blake be playing the five to play small ball, so it'll be like Kyrie. Shit. Oh, Kyrie, Harden, Harris, KD, and, and Blake Griffin. Uh, I'm like, nigga, that's a... How you gonna somebody, beat them? Somebody made a meme about him, and they was like, when you see your ex doing better or with her... Uh, her <laughs> <laughs> For real, like, nigga, how are you balling like that? You want ball like that before? No, nah, nigga want ball like that because they, uh, yeah, they, um... He didn't like the team. Like shit, same shit Randy Moss did. He ain't like the team. Shit, nigga was like, I ain't gonna play for y'all. That nigga go with Tom Brady and set the receiving record. Oh, you like damn? Yeah, that that we thought Brady he was Moss trash. We went, went to Oakland, huh? Yeah, he he was they he was so he was so trash. Oakland, them niggas gave him the pages for like a fourth round pick or something. Yeah, he balled the fuck out. Nigga balled the fuck out with Tom Brady. But I think shit. I think man, I think they can win it again. Especially if they can keep. I don't know if they're gonna be able to keep Antonio Brown though. I thought they already signed him. Oh, they did. I thought I read that. Oh yeah, yeah, I was looking now. Oh, he's still. Oh, he's still with him. Oh yeah, nigga. They gonna they be everybody. I think they brought back uh, Levante David too. Mm-hmm. So I think I think they needed to sign. The defense needed to be signed. Oh yeah, they signed Levante David back already. Uh, Chris God went back. Oh yeah, and then Leonard Fournette. I think he signed a, a full time contract with him now. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. like Lennifer. Well, I like Lennifer. got cut off, man. Yeah. Oh, shit, we talking about? Are we, huh? That's talking about football. Yeah, yeah we talking about. Uh, we talking about Randy Moss pulled. A, I mean, Blake Griffin pulled a Randy Moss on him and shit. You know how Randy Moss was with the Raiders. He right. act like he couldn't play no more, so they traded him for a fifth, a fourth yeah. round pick to the to the Patriots, and them niggas almost went uh, undefeated. They lost to the Super Bowl that year. Yeah, now this nigga, he, he ain't jumping over kids no more, though. He jumping over fights. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, he, yeah he, he he played he played Detroit because, you know, oh. they bought him out, gave him some money, too. So, you know, Brooklyn ain't really – and Brooklyn ain't had to give him but look, two million, I think. So, right. yeah, you, you take right. two million and win a, what y'all and win a chip. What y'all fucking with on the football uh, side of things? No, I think I think I think Tampa Bay probably look Tampa Bay hard man. I think I know Brady getting older, but I I I, I, I wouldn't bet against him. Well, you said you said it. Yeah, I think they'll go back. You think they got? Oh, so you really honestly think they got a, a, a great chance of running it back? Yo, look, they got a good offensive line. They got two running backs. I think they kept Jones. They and they signed for net now, and then you got Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Gronkowski. And you got Antonio Brown on offense, and your defense just fired. What you think about Tennessee, though? And I think Tennessee gonna be cold with Julio Jones, though. Tennessee, that's gonna be dangerous. Yeah, they are gonna be fired, man, with that running because shit, you can't you can't play no uh, you can't be no nickel dime set with that goddamn running back back with Henry back there. You gonna always have to always. I'm gonna throw this off with my shit though. Go ahead and let's pick your piece because I want to go last. Go ahead, Paul. Who no, you got? Oh, oh yeah, I got Tampa Bay. Who you got, Hood? I'm running with the Patriots, man. Damn. <laughs> Fat, wait, I'm gonna stay with niggas, man. You feel me? Wait, who you wait, you saying it's because of the coach or the or the team? Well, actually, they made some great pickups, they great additions during the offseason, man. So I think with those pick like what like I always tell people, man, when they speak about the Patriots, I'm like, look, first and foremost, like I said, I'm with Cam Newman, nigga. Cam has kept uh-huh. it home. For a season last year, but people are not taking everything into consideration of the things that he had to deal with. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. look at things for what they really are. Okay, this is someone that was played within a defense that was designed specifically for one quarterback for 20 years. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Secondly, you're on a team with the worst receiving core in the NFL. You feel right. me? You're on a team with the most opt outs in the NFL. You had to learn a playbook. In under 60 days, you caught COVID. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? like all these things have to be taken in, in, into account 
And then you still willed them to 79, and it could have been nine, and, and you know what I mean? Was, yeah, easy. And like that niggas looking at him like, oh my God, that was a bad season. Nigga, listen, this nigga got 12 rushing touchdowns, eight throwing touchdowns, 10 interceptions. My nigga, the niggas that he was throwing to, they could have put me and you out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. So now uh. they got him some real weapons. Anytime that Cam was successful on any type of level in Carolina, he always had his, his tight end safety blanket. You feel what I'm saying? So now mm -hmm. they got two tight ends. They run in the two tight end set. They got Hunter Henry, and then they got the other. Um, well, they got Henry. They picked Henry up. Yeah, yeah. they got Henry. They got Nelson yeah. Aguilar. They got, yeah, they got Matthew Judon. They got fucking um. They got all kind of motherfuckers to pick up. Oh, they got, the, oh, they got John o. Smith too. Yeah, John o. Smith. Yep. Ooh, hey, they, 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 and they gonna be good on Madden too. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> I, know, like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That's how I know they gonna be a problem right now. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you be playing with them on Madden? <laughs> yeah, they gonna be fire on Madden, yo. Watch. Oh, I got. I gotta see how it's gonna be real quick. Let me see, man. Oh, they fire. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey, niggas be doing that shit. I think I asked a question in my group the other day. I said, how y'all niggas be sitting here talking about the old NBA players uh, would be nice as shit this, in this league right now? Nigga, if you play 2K, the the all, the all if you take the fucking Lakers Lakers as, as currently constructed right. versus the 85 Boston team and play them niggas on 2K, nigga, you can ball with – KCP on them niggas because they so damn slow in that game. <laughs> them niggas don't even move the same, man. <laughs> right. Hey, right. niggas be like, oh, Brown will get fucked up in the, in the nigga Brown in the in the in the nineties, eighties, nineties. It's a wrap. Right. A KD, a KD in that time. Yeah, it's a wrap. Right. Them niggas need Ben Gay, man. <laughs> Trying to get them niggas good business, man. Nigga, first of all, niggas is built totally different now. You feel mm -hmm. them? Niggas, niggas conditioned differently, like. The whole game is just different, my nigga. Don't get me wrong. It was more physical back then, but come on, man. Niggas right. were more skilled, more skilled three-pointers. They found more ways to bring to get it to the basket. Like, you know what I mean? The shit is just – it's more advanced now. Right. That's what I was saying. I was saying shit. You with Jordan. I said shit. The Bulls in the finals, they never played in the – they never played a good center in the finals. Like, oh, yeah. it was no team – none of them teams that ever played had a good interior defense to where – like Mike, Mike, Mike didn't have no issues going in the hole on none of them teams. Oh, uh, yeah, the only one they had was Jack, but they lost against Jack, right? They lost against them when they played them in, yeah. in the playoffs. The only people that he really had a real, real, real problem with taking it to the hole is with yeah. the bad boy Pistons, man. Huh? Yeah. Yep. Everybody else, it was it was barbecue. There's barbecue chicken yeah, even with Phoenix. Nick, yeah, you at? You at? You at? Phoenix had Barkley at the time, but shit, they said, I ain't know Barkley was only like 6'4". Yeah, he about 6'4". But, but yeah, so, so all right, so, man, after after Pesci 3, you said you're going you gonna to start. What you, what you got cooking? What you, what you been working on? Man, um, actually, me and Yuck, we about to start working on Savages Part 2. You know what I mean? Um, Friday is going to be the first day of recording this shit, so we about to work on uh, Part 2 of that album. Yo, shout out Yuck, man. Shout out Yuck. I'm from, I'm from California originally. And I grew up on uh I grew up on, on Yuck on uh, Operate Stackola. Uh, okay. uh the kill, kill, Killers on the payroll. Uh all, all that man. Shout out Yuck, man. I had actually got one of my I wanted one of I want to motivate one of my guys. I was supposed to be his manager, but like man, the game's so messed up now, bro. I was supposed to be this dude manager, but I guess he thought managing meant I just buy everything for him and shit. So <laughs> Uh, I I went on cameo, okay. and I got him a, a drop from Yuck to just you know like yo big him up, tell him to keep on doing his thing mm -hmm. and shit like that. Man, the nigga, I, the nigga sort of the, he got the drop from Yuck, and then he was like, "Oh, that was cool." That's what the dude said. I'm like, nigga, <laughs> I'm like, nigga. I said, man, I'm I'm thinking about you trying to lift your spirits up and shit because you feel like the game's fucking you and all this. And the yuck is telling the nigga, he, he gave him a nice little drop, like, yo, keep your head up, niggas is rooting for you, you know what I'm saying? This, this, and that. And I was he didn't even tell me he got the drop. I had to ask him, I'm like, yo, you get it, you see that, you see that shit I sent you? He's like, Yeah, that shit was yeah, that shit was cool. Uh, to me, but to me, I'm thinking I just hit them up with like oh, that's a real figure. That's a real figure, nigga. I'm like, shit, I thought I did something, but that goes to show how these youngsters don't respect the game. 
Because it wouldn't be it wouldn't be you without the Yucks. It wouldn't be you without the Jay Hoods. It wouldn't yeah. be you without the E4. All of that would be you without them, but they don't respect that part of the game. These generation that come before the generation that's that, that you're existing in ushered the one that came in before that one. You know what I mean? Like the game now, the generation before that ushered them in, and the ones that just were before us, they ushered us in. You know, you know what I mean? And, and so on and so forth. It's like an evolving door type thing. But like you said, these younger cats, a lot of them anyway, just don't have that proper respect for. Those uh, those OG figures, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's one of the saddest part of hip hop right now is that it's like, nigga, it wouldn't be you without Biz Markey, my nigga. Like, right. it, ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, a, you don't make a meme about Biz Markey being in the hospital, my nigga. That's one of the legends, OGs, my nigga. Like, what you doing? Living in a fucked up time, man. You know what I mean? I think a lot has to do, well, not not the, the part that is fucked up, uh, but a lot of this maybe uh. The lack of communication or the, the disconnect has something to do with the fact that these young motherfuckers are the bag that they're getting now. It's nowhere like the old <laughs> is nowhere near what the fuck they was getting. They shitting on niggas from back in the day. You feel what I'm saying? Like well, one, well, one, one album, huh? You make them on one album, then nigga made his whole career. They don't even got to drop an album. These, my nigga, these <laughs> niggas dropping singles and these niggas copping million dollar homes. I'm like, yo, hold up, man. Yo, <laughs> fuck. Nigga, hey, that's like, but that's like sports too, though. What I make in one year, my nigga, like a lot of these popping new artists make for one show, my nigga. I'm like, yo, it's <laughs> crazy, man. You know what I mean? Like, Hey, that's why that's why you see niggas disgruntled. Niggas ain't disgruntled about talent, nigga. It's the bag. It's like, how come your bag is like that? And you ain't even nice. Right. <laughs> yeah. Styles was I saw um Styles P was doing an interview, saying he was only getting paid like 15000 15, a year for his royalties. Yeah. He was saying he don't get that, he don't get that. I'm missing you starting from Puff Daddy. So he's trying to get that shit. <laughs> oh, Puff still jerking them? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the publishing, man, that's the you know, that shit different, man. And it's like, you got to look at it, right? Like, uh, and they didn't even have song that was like songs that were like played regularly on the radio. So right. you know, look at the people that got songs that's on the radio regularly. You just have to like imagine the checks and the royalty checks that they get. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, but it's crazy. These young niggas Not- get money off these shows, though. The show, yeah. the dreams, they kicking. You got motherfuckers out here. New niggas that only been out for like a year, two getting seventy bands a show, like eighty bands a show. You're like, God damn. That's why I saw. I think that nigga Riff Raff, that Riff Raff is like that. Riff Raff, I'm like, yo, you don't hear nothing about Riff Raff on the radio, but the nigga they say he getting like a hundred thousand a show. I'm like, how? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not no hater, but I had a conversation <laughs> about him, uh, not recently, but semi recently. I'm like, cause I didn't, I didn't get the whole thing with him. Like, you know what I mean? I might be listening yeah. to a party or something, but. I'm like, yo, dog, I had to have somebody explain some shit to me. I'm like, yo, dog, what the fuck is it with this guy, man? Who the fuck, like, how the fuck is he in position like that? Because, matter of fact, I seen something that he had put up about 6 9 He said, yo, I'll put up my own money. I bet a million that I'll fuck you up or something. I'm like, how the fuck this nigga got a million to just throw out there like that? <laughs> he been out for a long time, though. I yeah, he been out for a minute now. Yeah. But he ain't but, never really did nothing, though. It's just been, he just goes. No, I remember back in the day he was acting like he wanted to be a wrestler, so he started fucking with Hulk Hogan a little bit. I think that's what helped him. That's mm. cool, man. Yeah, but look, like, yeah, but look, yeah. Drake. You heard Drake on the Lemon Pepper. He said, "Hey, these days fame is disconnected from excellence. At times, I gotta ask niggas what their profession is. Like, who? What do you do, bro? Like." Nigga, you famous for nothing. I don't know what you do. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Yo, bro, you got niggas, my nigga, out here, right? You got niggas that'll tell you. I just started rapping six months ago. And these <laughs> niggas got damn billions of streams. You like a whole up, man. What? And that's why they looking at you like, nigga, you've been rapping for 20 years, and I just got in this shit, and I'm rich already, and you ain't no man. That's why I was like, nigga, y'all done made it so easy for niggas that don't even really rap. To get in and get in position that the niggas that really rap, they're not being looked at in the same light anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas ain't getting too much access to regular niggas. Like, you know what I mean? Like, these niggas that don't rap, only thing you need is a SoundCloud, a motherfucking beat with crazy 808s, a melodic hook, 
and you a little motherfucking uh video camera shoot a 4k video you in the, you in the game man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it'd be I'm funny you ask them you'd be like you got a bio you got a picture <laughs> they don't even got that they got shit. They got shit. Uh, <laughs> you got press kit get on the knock and beat catch you hook you ain't gotta say nothing, my nigga. Like that's it. That's the only thing you need. Hey, Styles said it. They didn't open up a lane for lanes, nigga. It's a wrap for us. Man, it's a wrap. It's a it's the lane. Hey, the lanes getting right on the free. They get right on the freeway. And keep it get and get, and get going. But that's but look, the thing, right? I don't even yeah. want to get. I I don't. I have no desire to be mainstream. You feel what I'm saying? I'm cool. I want to. Only thing I want is to to expand my base a little more and just. Feed them consistently, like you know what I mean. Just like carve out my 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 lane a little more and just stick with that, man. I don't want to. I don't need to be no motherfucking multi platinum selling motherfucker. Let me be. I'm straight. Just on the underground, you know what I mean. Just like mm-hmm. long as I be comfortable, make my bread. I'm good, my nigga. Like I don't, I'm not even that type of nigga. Like that's probably what keeps me out of the light. That's one of the reasons they keep me out of the mainstream. Because first and foremost, not only do I not desire to be mainstream, but I don't like being, I'm not one of these niggas, like to be in the game, you have to be able to, you have to be willing to play the game within the game, like, you know what I mean? Like, be around all the fake shit, the fake smiles, the fake friendship, the fake comment. I'm not one of those niggas. I'd rather not be around none of that type of shit. That's why I don't be on the scene all the time with these other niggas when they be at all these places. I don't be wanting to be at these places because I already know the energy that these niggas are, are bringing, you know what I mean? These niggas, a lot of these niggas be fake. They gonna tell you what you want to hear while you in front of them. You feel what I'm saying? When you're not in front of them, it'll be something totally different. I just rather not fuck with this shit. That's why I stay to myself. I record. I do what I do, and I pop out when I need to. You know what I'm saying? But I, would you would you would you feel would you feel like would you feel like people would be more receptive if like like if you just put on shit behind you and just come out with some just fresh like not saying what you saying ain't fresh, but like just some. Like me, I'm just dropping tracks on niggas. I ain't talking about no old shit that happened. I ain't talking about no niggas who think they better than me type of shit. I'm just gonna give y'all some fresh J Hood shit. You I feel like it'll be different. I didn't been giving niggas fresh J Hood shit for years. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm saying like on some like like on like like if people know your situation, they will listen to a track and think like me. I can listen to a track and be like, okay, that's some hard shit. That's some shit. But it's niggas that know the situation. They could be thinking like. Damn, is this nigga saying he this, this, and that because of that? What happened, or is he just on that, some? That, that wouldn't really make any sense because that that's that's, that's going to be what makes you who you are. Like you know what I mean? Like no, I feel you. a person won't be able to be just listen to because it don't matter. I I could I could I could make a project and not mention nothing about none of that shit, not one time, and they're still going to be like they're still going to do the same. <laughs> come from this, so it's like that's the only thing I can remember you from. Like you know what I mean? Like you. Damn, I, and hey. it's, it's, a, it's a funny yeah. thing with people, right? They won't never admit this, but it's still people that's upset at the fact that I left these niggas. That, that they're so upset to the point they won't even listen to me now because they're like, nah, you left these niggas, man. Like, nah. Like, you're like, yeah. What's it? But what's you like, nigga? What's the statute of limitations on that shit, though? Oh, <laughs> God, God damn, nigga, y'all niggas act like I niggas, niggas that they snitched on niggas. Like, okay, I'm cool listening to these niggas. But a nigga that uh-huh. a, a conscious decision to remove himself from a situation that was bad for him, that nigga's gonna try to stone and ridicule that nigga though. But it's niggas that hey. color on niggas, and they hey, Jay, yeah. Jay Z said, "Y'all kill X and let Zimmerman live, nigga. Shit, fuck out of here." Like, what was it? My nigga, like, what? He's still alive. Nigga, y'all killed the nigga who was. He wasn't even no no threat to y'all. Y'all just wanted some nigga. Hey, that's the shit I be thinking too. These niggas be out here robbing and killing niggas for like. You nigga, they owe the, the killers got away with a thousand dollars. I'm like, nigga, you just killed this nigga for a thousand dollars, bro. And you going to prison. Like, nigga, you on camera, you going to jail for the rest of your life, my nigga. <laughs> Goddamn dumb. Yo, let's go on to man. You know, before we get out of here, I want I wanted to play uh, a couple tracks, man. So we you know let, let them know what we talking about if they ain't heard it. Uh yeah. I don't know shout out to shout out to Knowledge Born Alive, man. You know, he that's that's one of our one of our people. Yeah, tell him to go on his Instagram. He said, How can you get an interview? So go to go to his Instagram and hit him up. Yeah, line it up, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, I, I got I got the legend joint, and I, I think I had legend and uh yo, my favorite joint is uh that talk though. Okay. 
I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't so know yeah. what I'll get into first, but uh, no, I go on the legend. I mean, okay, legend is kind of like the title is kind of like self-explanatory, you know what I mean? Depending on who you ask, they'll tell you I'm a legend. Like, and that's just, just real shit. That's I can't get no blatant than that. Depending on who you really ask, a nigga might say, yeah, that nigga hood a legend. You know what I mean? On the underground. And then uh, you might, on the flip side, a nigga might turn around and be like, man, that nigga ain't shit, man. Fuck that. Hey. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, it is what it is. Man. So that's basically how that song came about. And, uh, And you know, from Rio to the Ville, the Ville is now Vernon, which is a city right beside Yonkers. You feel what I'm saying? I'm basically from both of those towns. Um, Creston is, it was, it was one of the biggest weed blocks in, in the Bronx. You feel what I'm saying? So I used to be over there too. So basically, that's what the whole hook was about. And uh, hey, hey, I was just thinking about you. Know, that was the, uh, you said your whip was, your whip you driving the same year you was born in? Yeah, that's a fact. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey what you think of hood? Hey, what do you say when you think of hood? Uh, damn, man, that's my that's my joint too, though. That damn freestyle, yo, that's probably like no lie. That's probably like my heart, the heart, one of the hardest songs ever. Not even saying that's my favorite J Hood track, but that's probably one of like one of the hardest songs ever with. Cause who was it? You, Larceny, uh, Cassidy, and who was the girl? Kima, I think, if I'm not mistaken. King or something like that. Her name was something like that. Kima, the fuck with King. Kima. Y'all niggas better hope and dream because every gun that I own got a scope yeah, and beam you. when I cross the scene. Nigga, suck, like breaks the scene. Yeah, Best yeah. bitch on the since Queen. Like, nigga, that bitch was going dead on that. Swiss did some bullshit too with that shit, right? Oh, with that song? This nigga Swiss let Casco twice. Yeah, he had two verses on it. Yeah, my nigga, that's what I'm going to tell you. There's some bullshit. He did that shit so he could get an extra. Extra verse more than everybody else. You feel what I mean? Like, mm. okay, so I see what you're doing, man. You know what I mean? Oh, well, hey, so that's part of the game. People don't know about little shit like that. Yeah, so they can be yeah, like, Cass first. came in with this at the end, huh? Cass, he said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah Cass it had that inverse because Cass went after you the first time, right? Yeah, and then he had it. Okay, I see. Yeah, you watched that verses with him and Timberland? Um, we talking about Swiss? Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't watch that. <laughs> Oh, that shit was all right, man. But I said, yeah. me, me and Post started versus. They we ain't never got no check, man. So I know for real. I think they got our shit. We, we was doing that shit. We was doing that shit when COVID first started on Zoom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Then we had you, oh, Judge, one of the little tournaments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now you know. But you know, it's funny because, like, like you know, what I'm saying, um, I guess the game ain't about talent, though. You know, we always been yeah, saying that. Nah, man, you already know that. Yeah. All right. Let's go on to this track, man. We got Legend. It's off the new Pesci Legend. Off Pesci 3, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Depending on who you ask, they tell you I'm a legend. From Y.O. to the field, to the model spot on Creston. Always been a thousand, never ever been a lane. Lay a nigga down, down for these three letters on my chain. Depending on who you ask, they tell you I'm a legend. From Y.O. to the field, to the model spot on Creston. Always been a thousand, never ever been a lane. Lay a nigga down, down for these three letters on my chain. Depending on who you ask, they tell you I'm a legend, dog. And I'm with this shit, so if it's drama, I let the weapon off. Still living well. Still need that Rory Roma. Still in with that one, that super addict on the sofa. You know, ain't a rock this fan. You make it Mayfield, but you fake real. Type to get pictures, start squilling to make deals. Expect me, expect G. This nigga's claim to be the hardest rappers that let's see. Truelist nigga in it, not a corner that lists. Crazy your chest, they gon' be fuck your chest. There's no need to cry, I'm gon' slide anyway. Smoking is on your ass, gon' die today. Depending on who you ask, they tell you I'm a legend. From Y.O. to the Veil to the Mongo spot on Creston. Always been a thousand, never ever been a lane. Lay a nigga down, down for these three letters on my chain. Depending on who you ask, they tell you I'm a legend. From Y.O. to the Veil to the Mongo spot on Crest. Always been a thousand, never ever been a lame. Lay a nigga down, down for these three letters on my chain. Cause we don't niggas 
already know the vibes, man. The GQ, I appreciate you, my guy. I'm back, nigga. Uh. CO63, Benzie. With my energy, I'm stingy. Still go around them steppers and niggas that dress dingy. I'm shocking gosh. everybody like the Knicks that thought I was finished. Tell yeah, them the world again. I serve my black ball cynics. Facts. Still with me, still deliver pain, still got gas that'll blow off a fit for your brain. I'm burnt for niggas, curse niggas with even not breaking bread. Niggas must be mentally challenging, not taking they meds. Can nobody tell me different? I'm still in the top five niggas out here spitting. Do y'all listen to music or do y'all just skim through it or do y'all not listen at all? They still know me behind the wall. Remember seeing me and them saying niggas fuck with me. I know niggas be talking, but for some reason that stuck with me, especially nigga. Blessing niggas with that talk That shit you can hear in every ghetto Not just in New York Nigga Now I'm talking about P3 Real rap nigga Real nigga talk is back nigga You wanna know something funny about that joint right there? The, the, the producer that made that joint is from Japan. Mm. Yeah, he went in. Yeah, he do his numbers. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta let that you gotta let that one breathe at the end just for him, huh? Yeah, shout out to the homie GQ, man, over there in Japan. Yo, shout out uh shout out Max Dollars on that legacy joint too. Max Dollars too, yeah, that's a fact. Shout out to my guy uh Max, man. I was gonna play hardest out of legacy, but I was like, niggas and heard all that. Let them let them hear some of this other other heat on there. Right, right, right. <laughs> Yo, you know we got the uh me and Poe got the live three sixty five station. And, you know they they pay the royalties for the spin, so I got the whole album on that joint now. Okay, nah, that's a good bet. So yeah, anything, man, any 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 music any music y'all got out, just send it to us. Play uh, with, we'll, we'll throw it in there. I don't know, I heard they be jerking niggas on the stream con on the prices of it, but at least it's something. <laughs> you heard the plane or dirty or doesn't doesn't it don't matter. All day. But yeah, now, look. Now I was saying like clean record or dirty record. Or could, shit, any anything. We good on there. Okay. We could play whatever. I, I ain't saying that to me yet about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I just want everybody to be listen, man. <clears throat> Go pick up Petri Three. After you pick that up, you know what I mean? Just to get in the in the right mindset, right? Go pick up one first after. Then go pick up two. Then pick up three so you'll be up to speed. And after that, if you ain't got the rest of the collection, double back. Go pick up the Savages album with Yuck. Then double back. Go pick up the Infamous in the Hood album with Big Twin from Infamous Mall. Then double back again and go cop the fourth lot album. You know what I mean? That's a and fact. Then, then after that, you'll be a little bit caught up. And, you know, if you want to get the project before that, you can go do that. But that's I suggest you to get those four to five projects right there to catch you up to speed on hood if you haven't been caught up. You know what I'm saying? And the food just shit goes, like I said, me and him working on the part two. And then um I got another uh, uh another EP that I'm doing with another producer out there from the Bay that I'm working on too. That's actually 95% done. So that's almost finished. And um I just got a couple of different projects coming out this year. So just be on the lookout, man. My guy Spit coming out with his album too. He just did a uh a video with Yuck for his first single. Yeah, he be going in. Stick be going in. <laughs> yeah, so definitely. But ain't Pac Riley your artist too? Huh? Pac your artist? Nah, that's um he worked with uh Max. With Max. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, 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 yeah. My fault. He is with Max. Yeah, Pac be going in too. <laughs> yeah, that's the dramatic Empire uh, artist. Yeah, shout out all of them, man. Good looking, bro. Hey, hey, I, I just, I'm just, I'm happy you just hit us up so you can get it off your chest, man. I yeah. said, I yeah. called Paul said, "Who?" I'm about to holler at two black brothers, man. I gotta go up on the joint again. I remember the last time we did that was a while ago. So I'm like, man, you know what? I'm about to do. I'm about to turn up and get on my Kwame Brown shit. So you know, let me, let me just get ahead and and holler at the homies. Right? Hey, them niggas picked the wrong one with Kwame Brown, didn't they? Hey, yo, bro, <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga is funny as shit, man. Huh? Ain't he a real? Cookie. Ain't he a real? He real too. I'm gonna have to hit you a little bit of Mama Cookie. <laughs> uh, uh, all day, cool. all day. But yeah, good looking, bro. Man, anytime, shit. Anytime you want to come through. Hey yo, before I get this all, I'm gonna say right here. Oh, nigga. hey, <laughs> hey, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna hold you to that too when they zero and five. Nah, you know what though? They play the Jets. You know, I got, I'm a season ticket holder for the Jets, but I'm, oh, I said Jets way player. at the, I said way at the top. That shit uh, like five hundred. Hold up, yo! This nigga's a Jets fan, and he trying to talk. <laughs> hey, right. but nah, you know why I'm mad at the Patriots? Because that used to be the money ticket. That's the ticket you used to could sell and not go to the game and make some bread. Now you can't really sell it because shit, Brady gone. Yeah. Like, man, I used to always sell my Patriots ticket, like, because I was getting some dope for that. But now, but shit, this year they play the Seahawks. Huh? Yeah, they, you know the season ticket for the Jets, like 500 for the whole season. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, you gotta take advantage of it. Hey, you be hoping they win a game when you win that bitch because it's cheap. But they, you be, hey, you always be disappointed, man. That'd be the worst thing about it because to get to the stadium from Brooklyn, shit, you be on that shit for as long as a game, as long as a game trying to get there. Uh, hey, niggas be thinking you doing something to you, tell them how much it costs. You be like, yeah. So you never tell them. You just say, man, you know, I got season tickets for the Jets. They be like, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, good. That's like half the price for a regular ticket for a Patriots game or some shit. No. <laughs> uh, no, I got Nets too for next year, so that's why I want them to um you said Nets? So I want the Nets to win this year because me and my father-in-law, man, and my brother-in-law, we went we went we went in on two tickets uh three different ways. So we nigga, they they got us for those though, because we got seats like right when they come out the tunnel. Mm. So, nigga, they charged thirteen five for two. For two season tickets? For two season tickets, but you get that's like forty four games though. Okay. But yeah, this that, that ain't bad though because nigga shit that's only a couple like two hundred. Nah, dollars. but you know how much money you gonna make on the resale though. Yeah. That's the thing. You gonna make a killing off that shit because nigga when the Lakers come, when the Knicks come. All them teams like that come in, niggas gonna want to come to the game. Niggas, niggas, yo, listen, check this out, right? Niggas was gassed off the Knicks. Huh? <laughs> Back. I ain't gonna right. hold you, man. Nigga, I was hearing it. Nigga, all the all the Knicks fans, them niggas came from underneath the carpet when them niggas started uh, doing good, my nigga. I'm like, what the man. fuck came from, man? Hey, look at this shit right here. My my boy texted me. This nigga said, now that the Knicks have lost. Can you let me know what games you going? I can go to for the Nets. I'm like, bro, you hardcore, you hardcore Knicks. Now they lose. He texts me like, you got any tickets for the Nets game? I'm root for them now. Yeah, yeah, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm waiting for money right now from my from the bro stick man because I made that nigga a bet, my nigga. He, huh. he nixed out. He like, yo, my niggas going. They taking it there this year, man. Word up, my niggas going through. I'm like, listen, bro. Them niggas nah. gonna be round boys, man. Man, that nigga Randall shriveled up. Nigga. I said, yeah. Them niggas I said, gonna, look, they gonna be out of here first round. You like, nah. I'm like, all right, bet. Put some money on it. All right, bet. We bet that nigga ain't paid me yet, man. Nigga, like you <laughs> said, Randall disappeared, my nigga. What hey, you? nigga, that was a real bad choke job he did. Like, <laughs> like, nigga, you supposed to be the you the franchise. And then y'all let the fans spit on Trey Young and activate Trey Young. So it was a wrap then. Yo, bro. They gonna send that nigga Julius Randle to Singapore next year. <laughs> yeah, he gotta go. Yeah, he gotta go for that one. But yeah, we gonna ride, bro. We, hey, anytime, like we said, thank you. Everybody, go pick up that new Pesci three, man. You won't be this disappointed. The black ball sentence is over. Yeah, man. The black ball sentence is over. We said it here on the Just Two Black Brothers, man. It's so riches coming your way. Two black brothers, man. Right. One.